Hey folks, so what you're seeing here is called orientation flights. So after bees hatch, about three weeks later, they begin to take these orientation flights before they can actually forage. Forage, of course, just means to visit flowers for nectar to bring back to the hive for honey. And so before they are actually ready to do that, they have to orient themselves to the hive, meaning they figure out the location, they use a visual cues, but what you're seeing here if you look closely, see how the bees, when they come out, they are sort of hovering in front of the hive. They sort of do this, I don't, I don't know the specifics actually, but they do this, this pattern. I'll try to back out here so you can see it. I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but the, the bees will fly up and around, all over around the hive, getting, uh, they use the sun, they use, um, you know, physical cues, all sorts of things to figure out the location. and. Know if this is showing up but they are flying all around up above right and they'll do that for several minutes and they'll do that several times before they actually go out and forage because they their forage their flowers might actually be miles away i think bees can travel anywhere you know up to five miles if they need to to find a nectar source so usually this happens about four o'clock in the afternoon this is a little earlier than usual um it's it's, it's about i think two or three o'clock in the afternoon now and so uh, this is a good sign. This time of year, the bees that hatch and that forage will live throughout the winter. Typically, honeybees will only live about six weeks and they literally work themselves to death, the females. And so, and that's, they only live for this short time period throughout the season because they're constantly foraging, constantly moving. I mean, imagine if you didn't stop, right? It'd be the same way, your life would be very short. But there's something uh, about uh, this time of year that allows them to, to live throughout the winter and they will forage in the spring until the new, the new bees are ready. So anyway, this can be quite alarming the first time you see it. Uh, it looks like something's going on. There's a process uh, called robbing that where, where other bees can come in and, and rob the hive, especially if they're queenless. And it often looks like this at the beginning. But I've been through that enough to know that this is orientation flight. So I take this as a great sign and I also see some males in there too, so they haven't killed them off. The drones, they typically kill this time of year. Drones serve no purpose other than to mate with the queen. They don't feed themselves, they don't forage. Uh, the, the female workers take care of all of those activities. And so this time of year, they typically kick out the drones. They'll kill them. I'll see them around, uh, on the ground. I don't know if they sting them or what they do, but they, I'll see them on the ground sort of flopping and, and suffering this time of year. But uh, that's not going on quite yet, which is good means there's a good nectar flow and that this hive is really strong and doing well.